Hi, I'm Itzia Jobs, cousin of Rob Jobs and longtime colleague of Steve Robsniak. And today I am so excited to announce the launch of our brand new iPhone 12. You probably have so many questions, like didn't you just drop a new phone three months ago? How do I get my hands on this new phone because I realistically don't care that it's the exact same as the last one? And isn't the iPhone 12 not supposed to be out for another six months? And you're 100% right. But fortunately for you, we hacked the system. I'm not Itzy Jobs. I'm Itzy. <coughs> I'm it, I, I hack, it's your hacker, I do some hacking. And we hacked the system, stole the blueprints. Okay, I found an article with the blueprints and I took that and today we are gonna be 3D printing the iPhone 12 before anyone else ex except this guy. But like, he doesn't even talk or you don't even see his face, so, you know, psh, does it really count? The point is we did it first-ish and we beat everybody on YouTube to the punch. So take that, everything Apple Pro. Just kidding, we, we love your channel. So today we're going to show you how we did it and how the old phone compares to the new phone with what specs we can expect. And I'll only troll a bit, so regular consumers, meet tech nerds, hopefully you can both enjoy the video together without getting bored. Sound good? Alright, let's get started. Jay, I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? Mm. Because we're getting rid of the need for Apple today. We don't need Apple anymore. We can 3D print our own phones. Take it, I don't even want it. I don't need it anymore. I got my own. I have separation anxiety. <laughs> Thank God. But seriously, this is a step in the right direction. Are we gonna be able to make it a full-fledged phone? No, but we can make the shell of the phone. I guess technically we could take out the parts and maybe put them inside and get somewhat of a functioning. Like theoretically we could, it'd take a lot more work. But you know, one step at a time, okay? One small step for me, one giant step for mankind. Is that, I don't remember the moon landing thing. Just take a look at this bad boy, okay? I don't even wanna take it off. Get in close. Come along the side there. This is the iPhone 12, 3D printed. Okay, it's it's the moment. We're gonna take it off now. Oh, it's like on there. Okay. Do you hear that? Come close. Oh. We might have found a whole new ASMR format. 3D printing ASMR peel porn. Coming to a <laughs> YouTube channel near you, okay. This is the iPhone 12, 3D printed. Uh, I do have my iPhone right here. This is an iPhone XR. We're gonna compare the size. It looks like it's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna get a proper iPhone 11. We're gonna compare it to that. But just off the jump, this looks pretty sweet. We do have to, oh, you see this? Oh. It's like a little fence on the back of it. Ah, cause this is raised, so you need to do this. Okay, okay. This is, yeah, this is like a whole new level of peel porn. All right, so we've got our phone. We still have to peel off some of the area around the cameras on the back here, but as you can see, we got the three cameras. It actually feels just like a super light iPhone, like if you were to hold it in your hand. Okay, what we're gonna do now though, is we really wanna make this look like an iPhone. So obviously it's got some features, it's got the buttons on the side, and this does have the specs for the iPhone 12, but it just, it looks like a 3D printed piece of plastic. That's not what we're going for. So we're gonna add a screen on the front, we're gonna sand it down, we're gonna refine it so that you could potentially convince someone from afar, if they didn't pick it up, that this was in fact an iPhone 12. And then we are going to do a direct comparison Comparison, comparison, comparison. You get the point. We're gonna do a direct comparison between this and an iPhone 11 and see what the differences are that we can expect with the iPhone 12. And then I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe we'll try and sell it to someone who thinks it's an iPhone. I don't know, we'll figure something out, but time to get working on this bad boy. So obviously we skipped a pretty major step here, but for those of you who are wondering how we modeled our 3D printed iPhone 12, here you go. First, we took the measurements from the article and made a rough shape of the phone. Once we had the rough shape, we imported the reference image to start tweaking the shape. After this, we were able to start adding some of the detail elements such as the front camera and sensors. Next, we started working on the back cameras, which we didn't have exact dimensions provided from the leak, so these elements were somewhat estimated. Then we added the side buttons, changed the depth for the screen so we had room to place a screen in afterwards, and voila, that's how you model a 3D printed iPhone 12. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw, we printed off our first attempt at the iPhone 12. It looks pretty good, you know? Quick comparison, the weight is a little bit uh, different, but I mean, that's to be expected. We are 3D printing stuff. Size-wise, slightly bigger, just a little bit, a little bit taller. You can feel the new design. Uh, specification. So again, this is still rumored. I don't know if this is exactly what it's gonna be, but it's more of the old, I think it's iPhone 4 
body where it's like flat and boxy on the sides, whereas the iPhone 11 and the last previous like six models are more round on the edges. Right away, you can see a couple of the differences. We do still have the three cameras on the back, but obviously we're, we're quite a ways away from our final product. And I know this is the first print that you guys saw me pull off, but to be honest, we took a closer look and there's a, there's a few flaws with it. So we printed another one. We've got a black version, which I think it's going to work a little bit better in the long run. There's a few little like minor issues. So we may still have to print again, but for now we're going to try and move forward with this bad boy. First thing we got to do to prep it to look a little more smooth. Cause our ultimate goal is to make something that someone would actually believe for a very brief period of time is an iPhone 12 or even just an actual iPhone. Cause nobody even knows what iPhone 12 is. So we got to prime this so we can put a nice solid coat of paint on it and make it look a little more refined. As you guys can probably tell, I've never done this before. So I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm going to do my best. Okay. That's all you can do in life, guys. At least that's what I tell myself when I'm about to fail. All right, guys. So while we uh, go through this extremely exhilarating process, let's take a look at our in-studio audience and see how they're doing. Really? Okay. So um, they, uh, everybody left. So I think that's a sign that this is uh, a little bit on the boring side. So I'm going to, I'm going to update you guys when we're done. All right, guys. So it's been a day. We let it set and 90% of the black is gone, but next we got to sand this bad boy down a little bit. And I just want to talk quickly about something that I saw on one of the leaks while we do it. Apparently, I don't know if this is confirmed, but this year we might be getting some Apple AirPods, but they're like overhead headphones. You get my drift? Not earphones, but actual overhead headphones made by Apple. It's not 100% confirmed, but that's one of the leaks. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that would be really sweet. Here's a couple mock-ups that people have done of what they might look like. And I was curious, would you guys switch from AirPods if you already have AirPods to the overhead headphones, or would you just stick with the AirPods? I don't know why we just turned into an arts and crafts channel, guys, but you know, you gotta dedicate yourself if you wanna create the iPhone 12 before anybody else. And that is, that is exactly what we're gonna do. Again, in studio audience is left. I'm gonna speed this up again and I'll see you guys when we're done with the sanding process. All right guys, I've been sanding for what feels like an eternity and I'm finally, I'm close enough. Whether I'm there or not, we're moving forward. It's time to spray paint to bring it back to the black. So here goes nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. I have this on it. I didn't actually need to cough. I'm gonna let this set, flip it over, and then we should be almost done with our 3D printed iPhone 12. All right, so I had to do a whole bunch of coats, but this is our final product. We went ahead and did a few other things. It's been like two or three days. This is literally the longest video I've ever filmed, but we've got some nice little, little like stickers for the camera on the back. We made a little Apple logo as well. It's starting to come together, but obviously we need to uh, put a little screen on there. So we've got a few printed out here and we're gonna try and stick those on and see how good we can make it. We laminated some paper with the screen. So hopefully it gives it that glassy look. They left the, all, this is the worst in-studio audience we've had yet. Okay, I, I'll just I'll just skip this part again and, and we'll put the screen on. Okay, it took me way longer than I'd care to admit, but we have our 3D printed iPhone 12 and it is time to compare the two phones and see what we can expect with this year's iPhone 12. I think this is the largest model of the iPhone 12 that we can expect next year. It's only slightly bigger than the largest iPhone 11 we got this year, but this will not be the only iPhone we get this year. There's actually going to be five different versions that we're expecting to get of iPhones in 2012. The first one is actually not going to be an iPhone 12. It's either going to be an iPhone 9 or an iPhone SE, and that's supposed to be coming out very soon this month. So hopefully it does, and I'll do a video on that when it drops. But it's basically supposed to be an affordable entry level version of, I think it's the iPhone 8 with updated and upgraded specs on the inside of the phone. Like I mentioned before, we might be getting the Apple AirPods X this year. I know this is an iPhone video, but I want to just keep referencing that that's potentially the overhead headphones and that's like honestly probably what i'm most excited about because i think the airpods have been easily the most exciting new thing that apple has dropped in the last little while and this would be the next generation of that the next thing to come from the airpods so i'm interested to see how those compete with beats headphones bose headphones and all the other ones needless to say we've got a lot of products that we might be able to play with this year so i'm excited about that now that we finished the phone and i did mention this earlier the main difference that we can see is the style of the two phones because obviously let's be real here apple isn't changing the world every year when they drop a new phone. There's very minor changes that occur at least 
to me as an average consumer. So that's the main difference in the form factor between the two phones. This is more of a boxy shape. As you can see, there is still some curves to it, but overall more of the iPhone 4 boxy shape that you can see directly a difference. I think it's gonna look pretty cool and I believe they might've already done it with the iPads or they're planning to do it with the iPads as well. Now we're just scratching the surface of what is expected to come with the new iPhone 12 this year. And to be honest, it's beyond my comprehension, a lot of it. So that's really the main differences that I noticed. We have seen some mock-ups where they have four cameras, but I don't think that's gonna happen from what I've heard, but it is obviously a possibility. And there is speculation that this phone will have a no-notch display. Obviously we didn't do that with our version, but that would be something cool that you can expect with the iPhone 12 coming this year. But with that being said, if you guys want more information on upcoming leaks and things like that, there's a ton of channels. Just type in iPhone 12 leaks and you can find everything you could possibly wanna know about what will be coming for the iPhone 12 this year. But the main thing I wanted to do was test out whether we could 3D print an iPhone 12. And it seems like we came pretty close. I'm interested to see when the iPhone 12 does actually drop how close we were. I'll show you guys on the screen all the different phones you can expect, the different display sizes and phone sizes for all of those. But before we end the video off, I do wanna show you guys a few more cool 3D printed Apple related products that we've tried so far. And I want you guys again, to let me know in the comment section down below what you wanna see us 3D print next. The next two options are either a 3D printed cyber truck or my face. So start commenting. All right. So the first thing we printed were these little over ear hooks for your headphones. So these could work with AirPods and as you guys know, they, they fall out of your ears quite regularly, but basically you hit one of these, you know? It's not the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. And to be honest, the, you could probably buy a, a slightly better version for like three bucks, but it's still cool. We 3D printed it. So that's one item we got is these little ear hooks for your headphones. Of course, we got the cool little Apple logo, nice little desk ornament. I might spray paint this and use it. This is one of my favorite things we printed. Another little accessory is that's probably going out of date because well most people are using AirPods But we've all had the struggle of putting your headphones in your pocket and then trying to detangle them afterwards We got this cute little 3d printed headphone holder Probably the easiest and most commonly printed thing that I've seen from 3d printers is like phone stands iPad stands Boom, you're on the plane. You know, you want to watch a show put your phone on there put it sideways and This one even has a little logo at the bottom. Oh, I guess people are branding their 3d printed stuff some vibes Okay, we printed this one, and but we need we would need the keyboard and we don't have it. So I'm just gonna show you a picture of it. It's printable. So if you guys need one of those, you could have done that too. And then this is probably the coolest thing we 3D printed in terms of functionality. It's like a little docking station. So you can put your phone here, you can put your AirPods here, and then you can route cables through to charge them in a much more efficient manner. Well, it's not actually more efficient, but it's better wire management, okay? So you can detach the bottom and then you route your cable through the back and voila, a much cleaner way of charging your phone on the bedside table, you know? And it was just 3D printed, pretty big vibe. And then you can do the same thing with the AirPods. So those are a few of the items that we found that you could 3D print besides actually 3D printing the phone. Obviously you can't really charge this, but this is our full 3D printed Apple everything. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna see us do more 3D printing things or more 3D printed Apple items, be sure to let us know. We can do this pretty much every year because they always leak the specs. So whenever the new iPhone specs are leaked, we can 3D print it ahead of time to give you guys a somewhat of a hands-on look at what you can expect for the iPhone 12. Uh, obviously it's still a ways to go, but you know, this is our first time trying it and we can improve and make it look even more legit next time. But as as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash the like button and we'll give you guys a brand new iPhone 12 that was 3D printed. Toodles.